Greetings everyone, Free here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. In today's demo, we're going to take a look at flight. We're going to look at the tool, orient yourself around its capabilities. And more importantly, we're going to see demo. Now, what is flight? Within the modern data space, flight would be in the orchestration and automation side of things. So thinking about like airflows of the world, flight would be in that category for orchestrating and automating the workflows. The website does have some, some details and we're going to go in, take a look at it, see what it does and go through a quick demo of installing a flight. Links to all of this will be in the description below. And also this is a great article that talks about orchestrating data pipelines at Lyft, comparing flight with Airflow. Now Airflow is an open source orchestrator, very popular in the industry. So flight seems to be playing in the same space. There might be some overlaps as you would imagine with uh, tools like this. And then there might be some unique characteristics of flight. And this article does go into details. I'm going to leave this in the description below for anyone who wants to take a look and go a little bit deeper. Flight does seem to be gaining steam. It's open source, but there is a core development team of about 20 or so as of making this video. So there's some activity there. If you go in, you can see the GitHub stars there. Uh, let's actually go into the GitHub. It does seem to be an active uh, community. So always good uh, when you're thinking about this uh, open source tools to make sure that the community is, is active and this is not something that would just uh, disappear on you if you were to use this for your needs uh, now that said let's go in and we're going to be following this uh, instructions here to go through the setup with visual studio code and we're going to go in and create some examples based on what they have here to see how that all looks like again links to all of this will be in the description below let's jump in into our visual studio code as always, I do work within virtual environments. So here we're going to have a virtual environment called flight. Let's go ahead and bring that up. And we now have that flight a virtual environment. So let's see this, go ahead, clear. I do have flight now activated. Of course, the first thing we're going to need to do with flight activated is to install flight. So let's do a pip install flight, but not just flight, you're going to do a flight kite. So that's what we're going to need to install. Takes a few seconds. All right. The installation was complete. With flight installed, we are ready to begin building the very first workflow. So we're going to go in and create a new file here, call that example.py. And this code, this file would hold the code for flight. So just a couple of things very familiar with is importing the necessary packages, pandas and numpy in this case. We're going to bring in two modules from within the flight kite package. And there is a concept of task and workflow. So very similar if you work with things like Airflow or other orchestrators, you identify a task by the decorator, you identify the workflow by this decorator. Here we have a task to generate some random numbers by a certain distribution or normal distribution. We're going to use that to compute some statistics. And then we have a workflow, which is essentially orchestrating those two tasks. Here, the workflow is going to compute statistics, which is that statistics task. And from within that, it's computing statistics based on the numbers that we generated. So we're going to generate numbers, compute statistics, and then return the result. So this is what the flight kite would do. For your use case, you're going to be doing something totally different, training machine learning models, working with data frames, but this essentially gives the skeleton for what happens. Now with flight kite, there are a couple of ways we can execute this code. One is to come in and do py flight run, I'll give it the name of the file and have this executed. So this would execute the code, uh, leveraging a uh, py flight. So Python a flight, but I'm not going to do that example. I'm going to leverage Python. I want to run this like any other Python uh, code for that. There is just uh, one more thing we're going to have to include, which should be if we're going to run a Python code, I mean, we know in Python, you always have to have an entry point, a main method. So here we're going to have our main method and from within this main method, we're going to give it the arguments. So the number of values we want to generate and the mean and the sigma for that. So with this set, we can go in and run the code. So instead of the py flight, we can just do Python example, the py and execute that. 
that ran really fast and was successful. Now with the code running locally, let's go in and see how we can enable the flight UI to take a look at what that experience uh, looked like and just do a quick overview of it. So to get the UI going, you're going to be leveraging brew install. If you are on the windows environment, that's a command on the screen. I'm just deleting that. Otherwise, if you are not on the windows environment, you can always use uh, curl to get that installed. So for me, I have that installed and just give it your password and everything should be installed within your environment. All right. Takes a few seconds and flight CTL has been installed for, for us. We can initialize the demo environment by doing the flight CTL demo start. This should launch a demo environment for us and the endpoint should be available for us to see that demo environment. It takes a few seconds and this should be up and running. All right. That was successful. Let's go ahead and copy this link, which is where we can access a flight on the browser and going into a new browser here. And if we paste that, we should have a flight available. There is a demo project here called flight snacks. You can see the different environments. This is currently blank. You can log in. If you set up authentication, essentially your dashboard for the workflows that I've executed here will be the workflows and the task that makes up the workflows. Now, this is the example. There is also another example we can use and let's go ahead and do flight CTM tear down. If you want to take down this environment, you essentially do tear down and they should take down this environment. And with that cluster successfully removed, let's bring in not the demo environment, but there is a sandbox environment, which we're going to start. It does have more, more examples. Again, this will take a few seconds and it should launch that sandbox environment for us to take a look at. Still taking a few seconds for this to all be installed and more services still getting installed. So that did take a few seconds for everything to be installed for the sandbox environment here. There was, there was more to install. So if we copy that and go back in and put that into the browser, we now see there is some examples of light snacks, testers, and if we go into the different environments, it's the blank, but these are the different environments that you can set up. So for organizations deploying this at scale, this could be uh, marketing and sales and finance, either by logical or functional areas and how you want to segment this for your deployment. Now, what we've seen here is pretty much blank. There's a lot more that can be done. It's all looking at the blank screen. I'm going to show a few commands before we tear down that environment. But we do have the code that we had before. Let's say we wanted to run this example, which is what we have here to run it remotely. We're going to have to specify remote and execute this. Now, if we have that executed and go back over to the UI that should show up within the UI now, and if you wanted to verify the results, you can see all of that here in the result, but those are things that we're going to cover in a future demo going in, running examples, registering examples. Tearing down the environment and really getting comfortable with the UI. Another thing that could be done instead of just running this is you can come in and there is some example workflows that you can register per the documentation. You can do register examples development into uh, flight snacks, and those should be registered in the environment so you can play with, but tons of stuff you can try, but hopefully this quick demo here has given an orientation of what flight is, is really an orchestrator automation tool for the modern data space playing in the same space, like, um, airflow. And there are lots of tools that are coming up in this space. You can create tags. Essentially, this is a directed cyclic graph where you have a bunch of tasks and you manage them with a workflow and the workflow is essentially just calling the different tasks and you can orchestrate that. You can run this using the UI or as we saw, there is, well, you can run this using the CLI. And as we saw, there is a UI that comes with it. We're going to dive in some more in part two of this and unpack the UI and do a lot of walkthroughs. Let us know in the comment section below, if that's something you'd like to see, uh, as always, this has been through, this has been a quick demo and installation of flight. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end. You've been very awesome doing that. 
and I'll see you in our next demo. Thank <laughs> you.